Hey everybody, yeah, another 18650 video for the month of January 2017. Um, this video going to be looking at some various sales that were pulled out of different generic replacement laptop batteries. On the left is a purple 2000 milliamp hour cell pulled out of a 9 cell pack, what I call the infamous um, Model X 9 cell pack that could have easily burnt your house down. The center came from another pack that was heavily overrated, at least on the the, the pack label. It claimed that the um, six cell pack was what was it, 5200 milliamp hours? Yeah, which meant that the single cell should be 2600 milliamp hours. No, they're 1900 milliamp hours. <laughs> and to the far right is one of six cells out of a. Um, Generic pack that had a Rayovac label stuck to it claimed that the pack was 4,400 milliamp hours, and when looking these up, that apparently seems to be true. 4,400 milliamp hours. Well, actually, 2,200 because there's two in parallel. <clears throat> but notice there's one common thing among these three cells. Um, at least the one in the center was manufactured by a company called. Shenzhen Enough Power Technology. Yeah, there's these weird brands. There's a little SZN on there. The rightmost one has, you know, barcode and such. Here we have BAKA03. Okay. Looked at this information and it claims it's a 2200 milliamp hour cell. And the purple cell. We see SZNS and a bunch of other random stuff. 3.7 volts, 7.4 watt hours. When you combine those two, you get 2,000 milliamp hours. And they all have that random barcode on them. You got to see this one has a barcode. This one has a barcode. And this one has a barcode. <laughs> Here's what one looks like naked. Um, now these these um, these lime card cells were all dead, by the way. The entire pack was practically dead. So we get to show you what one looks like naked without the uh, label or the disc on top. I won't be surprised if they were all manufactured under the same roof, to be honest with you. They do have pretty respectable weights. Um, you know, I'm sure you've probably seen, if you've been looking into these kinds of batteries, you probably have seen Ultra Fire and Trust Fire, you know, and other all sorts of random batteries by this point. Um, batteries that, you know, claim that they could provide you the moon and back worth of uh, juice, like 9,900 milliamp hours and such. Now, these, I do want to say, you know, Considering their weights are right there in line with name brand cells like Samsung and Sanyo, we'll say that they're actually you know, they're actually reasonable cells. It's going to power on the gram scale. Wait for it. Let's go and weigh a Sanyo 2000 milliamp hour cell while we're at it. We're at 42.5 grams about. Okay, how about say a Panasonic 2150 milliamp hour? I think that's what this is. 43.3. How about an LG Kim 2200 milliamp hour cell? Almost 43 grams. And how about a Samsung 22B, which would be a 2200 milliamp hour cell. We're at almost 43.7. 
And last but not least for our name brand sales, how about the mo the highest capacity cell I have here? A Sony US eighteen six fifty GR. Which comes in at a little over it's about forty five point six grams. Kind of be expected to be a little bit heavier. Now, for our generics. First, the supposedly 22 mm power cell has a little bit of hot glue stuck to it. <laughs> 43.12, less weigh it naked. 42.97, so call it 43 grams for this one. How about the 1900? 41.35 grams and for this purple one 40.41 so these purple ones actually weigh in a little bit less which makes me question you know I now I wasn't able to actually locate the capacity listed online I just went online and done a calculation you know 3.7 volts at 7.4 watt hour should give you 2,000 milliamp hours. Let's weigh this one. 41.6. Now again, look at that one. 40.4. That's like a you know it's like a gram difference in weight. Like what's up with that? How about another one? I have nine of them. See, 40.92. I'll have to do some testing on these and see what their capacity is. Um, if I can get an idea. I may do some more looking online to see what they're rated at. Um, now, of course, all three of these packs were already in my uh, possession. They were, I'd say, completely free considering how I sourced them in. Um, I think all of them came in through um, parts stone or laptops. So, you know, there's no way I'd spend money on, you know, these just for their sales. And I'm not saying that all replacement battery packs are bad. Um, I mean, for example, my Dell Instrument 1525 has one. But it's from a brand called Anchor, which seems to be more of a respected brand out there. Um, now, I'm not going to crack open that pack anytime soon to see what kind of batteries are in it, because the battery is still providing service for me. And it still works pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's a look at some of the generic batteries out there. <laughs> and what's funny is you see one thing in common. Let's see again, with all three. And how I suspect they're probably made under the same roof or you know, by the same company. Is look at the vents on them. They're like identical. Five vent holes. <laughs> yeah, five. Vent holes. So yeah, guys, I hope I didn't worry out too much here, but that's a look at some generic made in China 18650s. Um, now, you see, I'm, I'm kind of questioning if I'm going to keep these and use them. Um, now, like as I, as I mentioned, they're free. They were free to me. And both you know both these purple ones and these what I call Samsung lookalikes have very low usage on them I mean I'm we're probably talking about less than 50 cycles because I know um, I know the sourcing of the purple ones now the um, the the bluer color ones those came out of a pack that I've been sitting in my collection for a long time um, the ones that purple one came in I got those within the last year. These were sitting. These sit, are sitting at 3.7 volts. I measured all of them, and they're, they're almost identical in voltage, which is good. Um, these were sitting at like 2.8 or so. They were on the low end, but you know, I charged them right up on the charger, and they they done just fine. So it's kind of hard to say, you know. I mean, they're they're not manufactured by a commonly known brand. But, you know, um, 
for the ones I was able to get data sheets on, they do seem like they're okay sales. I mean, <clears throat> you know, my assumption would be, you know, considering they weigh similar to name brand sales of similar capacity, that they are, you know, built in similar, you know, similar ways. I would definitely say these are better quality than, like, let's say those Ultra Fire and Trust Fire batteries out there, but, but yeah, I mean, it's just what do you think? For those of you who are into this kind of stuff, what do you think about this? Just try to just, you know, reach out for some opinions on the matter. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's Bike Geek MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.